I was captured almost immediately after Karnak was attacked. But when they found out I had medical knowledge, they allowed me to stay as a human aboard Yurth's ship. It seems she wanted me to develop drugs she could use for torture. So that's why you weren't turned then? And why you had a poison that could even affect Rieger? No way am I ever gonna thank her. As fate would have it, I spotted your ship from my cabin window when you got into that battle over in the Osmid Expanse. Upon learning you were out there, I knew that as long as I stayed alive, we'd meet again someday. <laughs> I can definitely see why you and Adel are friends. After we split up? It was an eventful evening, let's call it. Once you'd all left, I ended up surrounded in the old shipyard. Cruz and Rosa had been captured by that point. I tried my best to fight back, but there's only so much you can do against enemies that can't die. Eventually, my last resort was to make a break for the harbor. I stowed away on a Grieger ship there, which just so happened to be the same one Dr. Flair was being held on. I lucked out and ran into him, after which he let me stay hidden in his cabin. Then, a few days ago, we heard the Grieger saying the Sandras had arrived in the Sanelia Basin. So as soon as the ship we were on made port at Fallen Island, we took the first chance we saw to make a run for it. Unfortunately, they realized we were missing a lot sooner than we'd bargained for. So, we had no choice but to dash over to Kalon Island and hole up here. Definitely sounds like you've been through a lot. No, 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 uh, no way! That's not the part I want to hear about! I, I mean, I did want to hear about that too, but that's not my point! Oh, you're all here! Gren, calm down a little, will you? I don't blame him for being so surprised, though. It is hard to believe you were capable of all that without us ever even knowing. What is it you're hiding, Rafe? One look, and I can tell you're no different from me. We both make a living by the blade. Hmm. Is that true, Rafe? Since when? You told us you left town to go work in a mine, didn't you? I said that, yes. So was that a lie then? Yep. Every bit of it. <laughs> I've actually been working as a mercenary. After leaving town, I ended up falling in with a mercenary band from Ispani. A, a mercenary band? And from Ispani? Wha what were you thinking? As far as the Romans are concerned, Ispani is just another hostile nation, the same as Danmark. If they found out you're working with these Spanish mercenaries, they'd execute you on the spot. Why? Why do this? And why didn't you tell us? Huh? Was it really something I needed to share with the class? Bastard! <laughs> Gren, you always had a real knack for pissing me off. Stop it, you two! I've still got more to say to this! Shut it, Gren! We didn't save Wraith just so you could vent your personal issues. You two want to slap each other around? Do it on your own time. <laughs> Rafe, since you're a mercenary, I won't mince words. You owe us for saving you. I want you to share whatever information you've uncovered. <laughs> no need to play hardball. I'm more than willing to cooperate. That's right. There's a lot we need to tell you. Adol, are you familiar with Raffos Island? Raffos Island? The one the White Whale was protecting? That's the one. Apparently, the White Whale is under the Grieger's control, too. <gasps> I thought he was acting strange. So that's what was going on. And that's not all. The Grieger are building themselves a fort on Raufos Island. They are? Yes. And some of the people from Ilma Village are being forced to help them do so. After they were all changed to Grieger, just like the people of Karnak. That... that's so cruel. Uh, hold on a minute. Is there fortify in their position like that? It's gonna make it nearly impossible for us to get all the way to the south. That's right. The Marine Triangle and the Sonelia Basin. They keep those two locations blocked. And the Balta Sea Force's mobility is cut off completely. For real? What are we supposed to do then? It... 
sort of seems like our only choice would be to take down the fort on Ralphos Island. Is that even something we can manage? The Undying Fleet in this area is split into three separate divisions that act independently from each other. One at Kalon Island, one at Fallen Island, and one at Ralphos. If we attacked the fort and all three of them converged on it, that'd really gum up the works, wouldn't you say? So then we'll have to wipe out each division individually before they have a chance to reassemble. Our first target will be the one here on Kalon Island. After that, we'll deal with the one on Fallen Island. What about Ralphos? They've got the White Whale on their side, right? Yeah. We're gonna have to do something about him. <sighs> Hoogle? A letter! It's from Ilmer Village! Let me read it. What did they write? The Grieger that were occupying the village have started to withdraw. Looks like they're planning to head for their fort on Ralphos Island. So they've already started. Things are moving a bit faster than I'd hoped. We'll have to figure out how to deal with the White Whale later. Right now, our top priority is to take out the Undying Fleet at Kalon and Fallen. Way Anchor! Aye aye! We're going ashore!
Oh, there they are. Go ahead, you two. Show me how it's done. Let's go, Adol. How did I get all the way over here? You're Rose's dad, right? First things first, we need to get you somewhere safe. Adol, Karja. Oh, Rafe. Good timing. Glad to see you're okay, Mr. Rusveri. Rafe? You're here as well? It's been so long. Adol, you and Karja still have things to do, yeah? I can take Mr. Rusveri back to the Sandras with me. Perfect. That'd be a big help. By the way, was he the only puppet Grieger here? Got it. You two be careful then.
Nothing like the open sea. This takes me back a good 40 years! <laughs> Don't get too carried away or you'll throw out your back again, you old coot. <laughs> Those geezers sure are fired up, huh? I'm worried, though. Is involving them in this plan really a good idea? Well, the strategy is a sound one, at least. Those old guys are pretty cool in my book. I like their style. If somebody that cool is wrong, then I don't want to be right. All right, everyone. We'll go over the plan for this joint operation with Ilmer Village one more time. The White Whale seems to have a habit of going after ships. So, we'll sail the Sandras through the area at top speed to lure him out. Once he's spotted us, we'll lead him to a reef due west of Ralphos Island. Aye. There, the villagers will use their fishing nets to trap the whale in the reef. Then, we make our way out of the reef and head straight for Ralphos Island. And from there, we land and launch an attack on their fort, yeah? This is the first time I've ever had to do something like this for real. <laughs> well, I know I'm ready to kick some undying ass. That poison Dr. Flair whipped up will let the rest of us finally help out. Adel and I will lead the charge. Once we're ashore, I want you to take the helm, Ezer. Understood. Wraith, Gren, and Doki will make up the next wave after us. Your job will be to deal with any enemies that slip by me and Adel. Got it. We'll also be escorting any rescued villagers from Ilmer back to the ship. I guess that's a fair price to pay for the old guy's help. Well, not like we wouldn't rescue the villagers either way. Our ultimate goal is either to take Yurth out completely, or at least drive her out of these waters. We can do this. Right, Adel? Aye. Just you wait, Yurth. This time, we're gonna pay her back twofold for what happened at Karnak. Dealing with the white whale, slipping into the fort. Our to-do list just keeps piling up. You're telling me, are we really up to the job? This battlefield is ours alone to storm. Help never came back in Karnak, and that's not changing here. <sighs> I don't want to have to go through anything like that ever again. That's the whole reason I joined this crew to begin with. We got this in the bag. Just you wait and see. <laughs> there Gren goes again. Ugh, can't you take your shrieking somewhere else? Something's got to give or we'll be screwed. Shit. No way around it. Hey, Rafe! I call for a truce. Stewing in all this bad blood is just gonna hurt our next mission. What? You still on about that scrape we had? <laughs> Not everything demands a big public announcement, you know. I don't bring that sort of baggage with me to the battlefield, unlike a certain goofball on deck. Whatever! A truce is a truce, and that doesn't mean I admit any blame, just so we're clear. Is this supposed to be their way of patching things up? Uh, what can I say? These two have always been like this. We must ensure that the Sandras is sufficiently stocked for battle. <laughs> the bandages and dressings we requisitioned from that Grieger ship will go a long ways toward that. Dang, nice work, Doc. You put an ex-thief like myself to shame. No doctor I've met has been anything like you. Where'd you learn to be so cunning? I'm getting up there in years, so chalk it up to life experience. The time I spent up in the sky was particularly eventful. 
the sky? Guess anything's possible for a pal of battles. Now I'm just talking crazy. 